Hey, hey y'all, it's Maddie here with Junk in the Trunk by Maddie, and I'm bringing you another fun little tutorial. So we're going to take this little dress pattern here, it's a little vintage dress pattern that I got at a thrift store for a couple of bucks, and we're going to turn this pattern into a full-on junk journal. Let's do this. So you're going to start by cutting out the edges. We're going to grab some cardboard, cut it to size, glue it into the cover. Once those little guys are glued in, into place, we're gonna grab some fabric. I grabbed two different fabrics because I didn't have enough of the polka dot one. So we're going to be gluing these watermelon and polka dot fabrics down. I'm grabbing some Fabri-Tac glue and I'm gonna glue that down. Make sure you're pulling out all of the lines and bubbles and pressing in all of the creases. So the watermelon portion, I'm going to put my glue in such a way that we're going to turn that watermelon part into a front and back pocket. So to do that, you just put glue around the edge and then right in the crease in the center and that will create two pockets. So you're just going to press the edges in and as you can see with the scissors I'm showing you, there's two pockets there. Now for some decoration, we're going to grab us some lace. Whatever color scheme you're working with, just grab some lace that correlates with that color scheme you're using. I grabbed some baby pink and some yellow and white for the front. Y'all know how I like to layer my lace. So I had to use two different ones just because I like to be extra. <laughs> now we're gonna trim down that lace on the top and bottom. And don't forget to add lace to the back of the cover. Once you have lace on the front and the back, and your pockets are all in place and nice and dry, it'll be time to put a little decoration on the front if you want to. So I just grabbed a hydrangea flower sticker and I stuck that on the front. And now I'm gonna be layering a couple of different vintage laces onto the cover just to give it a little extra pizzazz. You know how I like to add a little flair. Trim down the lace. And now it's going to be time for our signature. Our cover is complete. Here's the little signature. I did put some Sears and Roebuck pages of little girl outfits inside, which I thought was really cute. And we're gonna just be using some ribbon and an awl to install the signature. So we're just gonna be doing two holes to bind it to the cover. So you just poke a hole about an inch from the top and pull your string through, and then poke a hole about, a, about an inch, inch and a half from the bottom and do the same thing. And then you're going to tie the signature on the outside of the cover. I just tie a little bow and I double knot it it was nothing special. I don't do any fancy binding on this one. And we just double knot it. And our project is complete. I think this turned out really cute. If you're new here, my name is Maddie. My page is Junk in the Trunk by Maddie. And you can find all of my junk journaling tutorials just like this one on all major social media platforms. Just search Junk in the Trunk by Maddie. I hope you guys enjoyed this little project as much as I did. And if you try it out, I would love to see pictures. You can post pictures of your projects and send them to me in the group called Trash to Treasure. You can find that group on Facebook. That's a Facebook page run by Junk in the Trunk by Maddie. And you can show me all of your cool projects there. So I highly recommend joining that group, Trash to Treasure. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.